hello you are welcome in this video we are going to solve this exponential problem we have 8x equals 2 power 2x we are going to use two different methods so we are going to start with the first method now in order to solve this problem we can have it as 8x equals instead of 2 power 2x we can have 2 power 2 all power x Remember, if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n or power n. So that means you can have 8x equals 2 power 2 is 4 and this is raised to the power of x. Now, the next thing we are going to do is we can divide each part of this equation by 4 power x. And this will give us 8x divided by 4 power x and this equals 1. So at this point, the next thing we are going to do is we can make use of this function. Remember, if you have e raised to the power of ln, that is 1. So if you have e raised to the power of ln of 4 power x, this is the same thing as 4 power x. So we are going to replace 4 power x with the whole of this. So we are going to have 8x divided by e power ln of 4 power x and this equals 1. Now at this point the next thing we are going to do is we can simply rewrite this e power ln of 4 power x. Remember it is 1 divided by the whole of this. So you can have it as 8x times e power negative ln of 4 power x and this equals 1. Remember, if you have 1 divided by a is the same thing as a raised to the power of negative 1. So we have just applied this identity right here. Now, the next thing we are going to do at this point is to divide each part of this equation by 8. Divide this by 8. Divide this by 8. 8 will cancel 8. We have x times e power negative ln of 4 raised to the power of x and this equals 1 divided by 8. Now, at this point, we can simply make use of a particular function, and the name of the function is lambda w function, which states that if you have the lambda of a times e power of a, this equals a. So, also, if you have a lambda derivative function of maybe a fish times e power a fish, you are going to get a fish. So that is just the idea of this lambda derivative function. It's actually in your calculator. You have e raised to the power of product log. That is the same thing as lambda derivative function. E power product log. So if you have e power product log, that is the same thing as lambda derivative function is then your calculator so in all these new devices we have this particular function so is a is a very is an in, interesting one a very interesting function now we are going to apply this function right here but before we can do that remember what we have here that is a must be the same thing as what we have here that is a that means what we have here at this base must be exactly the same thing as what we have here at the exponent so we are going to manipulate that. Remember, we still have x times e power negative ln of 4 power x, and this equals 1 over 8. I just copied this down here so that we can work from here. Now, the next thing we are going to do is, in order to make this part to be the same as this part, we can simply decide to multiply the both, the both part of this equation by negative ln of 4. So we can have x times negative ln of 4 times e power negative ln of 4 power x. And this equals negative ln of 4 times 1 over 8. Have you seen that? We have just multiplied the both part of this equation with this. Now, because of that, we are going to have negative x ln of 4 times e power negative ln of 4 
Remember, when using the lock rule, if you have, let me make a space here, log of a power b is the same thing as b log of a, remember. So that means this x can come behind this. So you are going to have something like negative x ln of 4. Have you seen that? And this equals negative ln of 4 divided by 8. Now the next thing we are going to do is we can now apply the lambda w function because what we have here is exactly what we have here. So we take the lambda w function of negative x ln of 4 times e power negative x ln of 4. And this equals, we also apply it here, lambda w function of negative ln of 4 divided by 8. So because of this function we have taken right here, remember, the lambda w function of a fish will give you a fish. Right? So that means we are only going to have this negative x ln of 4. So this now equals the lambda w function of negative ln of 4 divided by 8. So what next we are going to do at this point is since we are solving for x, we divide each part of this equation by negative ln of 4. We divide this by negative ln of 4. This will cancel this. So we are going to have x equals the lambda. Remember, there's negative here. So we are going to have negative lambda the real function of negative ln of 4 divided by 8. And this is actually divided by ln of 4. Have you seen that? This negative, I just took it down here. So if you actually type in this into your calculator using the product lock as this w, that means you are going to have negative product lock of the whole of this divided by ln of 4. So that means you are going to have a value of x and the value of x is 2. That is the answer. Now let's use the second method. This method is actually very fast. Method 2. Now in this method, remember the problem we have. 8 power x equals 2 power 2x. We are solving for x. So what we are going to do in this method is we simply divide each part of this equation by 2 power x. Have you seen that? x cancel x. 8 divided by 2, we have 4, and this equals, remember, when the bases are the same, and there's a division, you subtract the exponent. If you have a power m divided by a power n, this equals a power m minus n, right? So you are going to have 2 power 2x minus x. Have you seen that? Now, you make this base to be the same as this, you have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2x minus x is x. Now the bases are the same, you compare the exponent. So therefore, your x equals 2. Any of the methods, you are getting the same answer. Now the next thing we are going to do is to check if the value of x will satisfy that equation. 8x equals 2 power 2x. And our x is 2. You have 8 times 2 equals 2 power 2 times 2. Obviously, 8 times 2 is 16 equals 2 power. 2 times 2 is 4. Obviously, 16 equals 2 power 4. 16 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 16. So that shows the value of x that we have got is actually very correct. So that is it for this video. That is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video to your friends. Thank you. Goodbye. Have an absolute wonderful day ahead. Thank you.